and the country where she became a star to only be asked what's it like to be married to Hugh Jackman like she's some groupie. I've even seen women this week referring to her as like a normie. Oh my God, you know, I can't believe Hugh Jackman's spitting up from his wife. You know, she was an older woman. She was just a normie. She's actually not. Not that there's anything wrong with marrying an ordinary woman, but she was a star. Oh my God, I'm so happy for her. Good for her. First, go watch my Mutual's video. It's so good and breaks down all the reasons why it makes sense that she's leaving him. This big star. I want to go cover that for a little bit before I go into this guy. So bear with me. I had no idea who this woman was. All I knew was she was Hugh Jackman, Jackman's wife, which makes sense. I know that she's big in Australia and not in the United States, but I want to point out a couple of things that he has said because it's right in line with everything I've been telling y'all. So many men will find women who are like huge stars. And I don't mean celebrities. I mean, successful women who've built great careers. They have like two PhDs and they'll be like, yes, I want her only to change her because women don't change men men change women they accuse us of wanting them to change when really we want them to evolve and more importantly we want them to be the person that they were when we met them which was all a lie usually and so like so many men i'm gonna give you more examples he was like small potatoes when he met her she had what he wanted so he hitched his wagon to her and then she just fell away like so many women so look at this she was, this is what he said. She was a big star. I get picked up and Deb was in the front seat of the car. I'll never forget. She took off her seatbelt and turned around and put out her hand and took off her sunglasses and said, hi, I'm Deborah Lee Furness. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Nice to meet you. I remember thinking, I like this girl. Did you really like her? Or did you like her star power? Did you like her success? Were you jealous of her? Because so many men will get with women they're jealous of only to sabotage their careers so that they can become her. Because when he met her, she was a very well-established actress. She was the one who was the star of the show that he got his break on. But he was nothing compared to her. Now, what is she known for? Charity work. Hmm. Does that sound familiar? I did a whole video about Justin Trudeau and his wife, Sophie. Now, she was a very well-established woman, had a great career. And then she hitched her wagon to him. And he had to be the star. Under patriarchy, so many men expect to be the star. And even though they say they want, you know, you know, working women, successful women, they want a partner in crime, blah. No, they don't. Because as my mutual talked about in her video, as soon as these two had kids, what happened to her career? I'm so happy. I had to actually private that video that I made of Justin Trudeau and his wife and how she is basically a trend that is going to keep going of women being like, no, this is not what I signed up for. I have lost myself in this relationship with you because you refuse to decenter yourself. So it doesn't matter that he's still the prime minister or whatever. She's like, I am done. I want my life back. Sounds like that's what Hugh Jackman's wife is saying too. She's tired of being associated with this man. And she was bigger than him when they met and his career took off. Why do you think that is? Why do you think his career was able to take off when you have a wife at home who's t managing all of this stuff behind the scenes, and especially children? Of course your career is going to take off. You have burdened her with everything. He's even talked about how she's his best friend and the backbone of his personal and professional success. Anytime you hear a man say, she's my rock, let me decode that for you. She's doing everything and he's doing nothing. My dad used this phrase all the time. He loved having a rock in his life. He didn't do much but watch football and traumatize his children. Anywho, now what does this have to do with Ryan Reynolds? Well, apparently these two are besties. And you know, I know that we, like everyone just like, oh, Ryan Reynolds, he loves Blake Lively so much. Maybe, I mean, by the way, I don't know any of these people. None of us do. None of us will ever know the true story. But one of the things that we like to do is to use celebrity TV show and all kinds of things to try to understand what's actually happening in society. Because we all have heard of these people. This dude kills women's careers. <laughs> he loves him a pregnant woman. But back to her in a minute. So I totally forgot that these two had ever been married. But Scarlett dumped his butt as soon as she realized that he is going to be the death of her career. So she never comes out and quite says the quiet part out loud, but she does hint at it. 
So she was only 23 when they got married. She didn't really understand what marriage was. And just like a lot of women, she had romanticized it. Why? Because our culture has done nothing but tell us, it's going to be, oh my God, this amazing thing. Best day of your life. And she was like, after not long, she was like, fork this, I'm done. And the funniest thing is that she chalked it up in interviews, at least, to it, her being an actress and them being competitive. That's not what this is. It sounds to me that she was doing what a lot of women don't do, which is compete with her husband. And by compete, I mean not let him center himself. She had, she's at the top of her career or, you know, a career that has been successful forever. She was a huge star. He was a huge star. And so having to compete really meant not letting this man derail her whole life, especially her career. She's like, the logistics of being with another actor are challenging. No. The logistics of being with a man are challenging. There has to be a real understanding of how you share your time, especially when two people's careers are going at the same rate. Yeah, because he's going to want you to center his. That's what they want. Most men want you to center them. And if one person is more successful than the other, that also proves challenging, especially if it's her. There may be a competitive thing. That's not competition. That is a woman trying to survive a man. That is a woman trying to survive being married to a man who constantly, at every turn, tries to make her center him. And the best way to do that, this, this is the best way to derail a woman's career. Put four babies in her. Now, I know that this couple is like some sort of example of him being a great de uh, girl dad and them being so beautiful and successful. But what, what is her success based on? She had a thriving acting career. What does she do now? I haven't seen her in anything. What I know her as is his wife and the mother of his children. That's how I know her. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe I don't watch things she's in. But I literally never hear anything about her other than him being like, I love my wife, but also make fun of her constantly. Like, the weird sense of humor between these two I find really annoying because men's jokes are never. And the fact that he keeps putting babies in her, four, I find that suspicious. So, I mean, apparently she's, you know, I've always wanted a big family. I'd love 30 children if I could. Okay, maybe she's always wanted to be a mom. Maybe her career is not important to her. That could totally be true. And if that's the case, good for her and good, good for them. But she does say that because she has all these children, she has to be very selective about what roles she takes because his, his career is thriving. He's probably gone all the time. I worked in the film industry. I worked on set. You are never home. When you are filming, you literally, it's like you go on vacation for two to six months and your family will never see you. That's the reality. It's a little different for actors. They get more consideration than crew members, but this man is filming a lot. His career is doing great. How involved do you really think he is in those children's lives when you work in the film industry all over the world and are gone all the time. But it's really easy to be successful in the film industry if you have someone at home burdened with the care of four children. Again, maybe she loves that. And if she loves it, I love it for her. But take notes from her. She sensed right away she's going to lose herself with this man. And she's doing great. But you know who's not doing great? Demi Moore. I did a whole video about that. I'll link that in the comments too. Bruce Willis killed her career. She, she said it herself. She was at the height of her career and he wanted kids, but he wanted her to stay home with the kids. And then she hooks up with this predator and he doesn't help her career anymore. Oh, and then he destroys her sobriety by convincing her that there is no such thing as alcoholism and gets her to start drinking again and then makes fun of her for being a drunk. And she relapses and, and almost destroys her family. I think she was like 20 years sober or something. Until he convinced her to start drinking again. Let's think of another one. What happened to Katie Holmes' career? I haven't seen her since she married that douchebag. You can learn a lot from Hollywood couples. Again, we don't know them. We don't know the real story behind it. But Brad Pitt certainly didn't do Angelina Jolie any favors with her career. We all know how that ended. The point is, be very careful of men who love independent, strong women. Because a lot of them are bums who want to tear us down. Or they want to be us because they're so jealous of us. And they will sabotage our careers at every chance.